always have to give the disclaimer that I do have a shirt on. I know sometimes I look like I don't. But first, here I am just sketching out in my head first where I'm going to put the strawberry and I'm going to draw it on with the just a natural color lip liner. I'm not being too precise as you can see because obviously this is just a draft of where things are going to go. I'm now drawing on the leaves of the strawberry and then I'm going to go ahead in and start painting. First we're going to be starting with the red shade which is going to be the strawberry of course. All of the paints that I use are from Wolf Effects. They are water activated paints so you can determine what kind of consistency that you want based on how much water you add. And then here I'm going to be going in and like I said doing the red. Next we're going to focus on the brown. I will say that some of the Wolf FX colors, some of them are a little bit more opaque and less streaky than others. For example, the red works really great, but the next color that you'll see with the brown, I had a really hard time trying to get this to look even. I mean, it really didn't, which was okay because, you know, it's the chocolate part of the strawberry and it's all right if it's not even. So here I am just painting and filling in the area with the brown. Later, we'll go back and do some shading to maybe give it a little bit more dimension. Next, I'm gonna be going in and focusing on the green shades. Again, these are all Wolf FX paints. And I'm just using a small brush. All these brushes are also from AC Moore. They're not special brushes or anything. I just picked out ones that I liked at the store. And I'm just going in and filling in all of the leaves. Once I'm done filling in all of these colors, I will then be going in to do some more shading like I mentioned. I know the outside of the leaves look a little bit like they're dark and shaded already, but that's just because I went over the red parts a little bit. So this isn't perfect. It doesn't have to be. Don't worry if it's not perfect. This is just have to have fun and see what you can come up with. Next, we're going to go back and focus on the chocolate and really trying to help that illusion to make it look like the chocolate is really on top of the strawberry. So we're going to start by shading the tips of the chocolate just to make them look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to be going in with black. This is a black uh, matte eyeshadow from Makeup Geek in the shade Corrupt, but use any matte black that you have. And as you can see, I'm doing the black at the closest to the edges of where the chocolate would be. I'm not doing it all of the outlining of it, but I am doing it places where it would be the darkest, again, just to give it more dimension. I'm also just going in with an eyeshadow brush and just blending out that black and just creating a little bit more of a shadow, again, where you want to see that the chocolate looks like it's raised off of the actual strawberry itself. Since we do all these shading, we need to make sure that we're going to be doing some highlighting. So that's what I'm doing here with the white cream paint on top of that brown. And what I'm going to do is just go with my finger and just blend it out so it's a little bit less aggressive. Now I'm going to go in and do some shading on the actual leaves itself. I'm going to be using just a dark brown shade to start and I'm going to start mapping out where the leaves actually are. I'm just using an angled brush to go in here and really define each of those shapes really focusing in the shadows on where they would normally be closest to the center of the leaves where they might be overlapping. That's where we're going to put a little bit more shading. And then we're going to focus on doing some highlighting. So as you can see, where every time that there's going to be shade and there's going to be shadows, there's going to be highlights as well. I learned that from Jordan Hans, of course. She's amazing. I'll link her stuff below. And after I'm done really outlining those leaves and defining them a little bit more, I'm going to go in and use the white cream paint to just create some lines within the leaves just to also, again, try to make them look a little bit more realistic. I'm trying to highlight the points of the leaves, the tips of them, because that's where the light would be hitting it the most, so we're going to try and highlight that area. So what I'm doing is placing the white cream paint and then just buffing it out a little bit with my finger. So I'm really just going to go ahead and let you watch this part and let you watch the process as I put the little white pieces on each of the leaves and then do some highlighting. Basically it's the same concept. I'm going to be going in and adding more shading, blending it out, adding more shading, blending it out. Same with the highlight, adding highlight, blending it out, highlight, blending it out until I feel as though it's the correct shadows for me and the highlights enough for me. So that's what I'm just going to go ahead and let you watch here.
I've outlined the actual strawberry in black, I'm going to be going in and just using a little bit more of that white cream page just to highlight that side of the strawberry as if that's the side that's hitting the light most. And then taking some eyeshadow and making the other side a little bit more shaded just so it looks like the side that is least away from the light. I'm also going back in with just a dark shadow and just deepening up the leaves underneath it to look as though the leaves are on top of the strawberry. Now I'm going to go in and do the actual yellow seeds. So I'm just taking another yellow paint, this is the yellow shade from Wolf FX, and I'm just using a little paintbrush just to paint on all of the little seeds. And as you can see, I'll just let you watch the process of painting these all across the chest. No actual pattern that I'm doing, I'm just trying to keep uh, a steady hand and just make the sizes pretty much all the same, but it's okay if they're not, no strawberries are exactly the same. Anyways. After I've created all the seeds, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing we did earlier, doing the highlight and the shading. So I'm taking a dark eyeshadow and just placing that on one side of the seed. And then I'm also going to be going back in and doing a white highlight with the white cream paint just on the other side. So I'll go ahead and let you watch me do that as well. Now onto the face. I'm going ahead and just buffing in some foundation. Any foundation will do. I am just using the Makeup Forever foundation. Just putting a nice light coat over. Nothing too crazy because the focus is going to be on the chest anyways. Next I'm going in with an eyeliner actually. This is from MAC. This is the Fluid line. And this is in the shade Brown. This is just going to act as a base for the brown eyeshadow that we're going to be putting on. Feel free just to use a regular eyeshadow base but I wanted to make it a little bit darker today. So I went in with this brown eyeliner just to, again, create that base for the brown eyeshadow that we will be putting on. Next, I'm going to be going in with that crease color, and you could actually do this before you put the brown on. Totally up to you. I just kind of forgot, actually. So I'm just going back in now to really buff that green shade into the transition area. It's not really going to be a transition into anything. It's just going to kind of be these two colors that go along with the chocolate colored strawberry. So I'm just taking a large fluffy brush and just buffing that green color into the crease area. Then just to help blend that cream base that you put on with the shadow, I'm going to go ahead and use a brush that has no additional product on it. It's just an actual clean brush and just buff that into the crease just to help blend those two together. And then move on to the actual brown shadow. So this is a, just any brown shadow you want to use. I use one from the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm just taking a brush and just packing it on the lid right over where we put that earlier uh, brown eyeliner. Again, the eyeliner is just going to act as a base for this shade right here. Again, going back in with that clean brush and just buffing it all out. And now we'll move to liner. I'm just going to do a large line, just a nice winged liner. Same as I do in all my other videos, same, same wing. <laughs> I'll list in the description box below a specific video about eyeliner if you're interested. But that's what I'm doing here, and I just thought it was easiest to use this pencil, this felt tip pencil one. I'll list this and all the products that I've talked about in the description box below, but I thought this was the easiest just to quickly draw out that line. Next we'll move on to the rest of the face and then we'll go ahead and do the bottom lashes afterwards. Now we're going to go in and just put some concealer. I'm using Urban Decay Lightweight Concealer today and I'm just going to be packing that on all in the triangle shape under my eye as I always do. And I went a little heavy on the concealer today. You don't have to go as heavy as I did but I decided to. Then I'm just taking the same brush that I used earlier with my foundation and just buffing that into the skin. I did feel like this concealer was a little light for me, so I ended up going back in with a different one and it has a little bit more color to it. And I just, just blended that in as well. That's an LA Girl Cosmetics Concealer. Again, all the products that I use will be listed in the description box below if I don't talk about them here. 
I'm then just going to set that under our area with some Laura Mercy translucent setting powder. I love this stuff. I am going to bake a little bit, so that's why I'm putting such an excess amount. If you're interested in a baking video, let me know. It's basically just creating that really powder look underneath to really help it to keep matte and look just absolutely flawless. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. But anyways, that's what I'm doing here, just placing that powder all in the areas where I highlighted, and then I'll move on to the next step. As you can see, the next step is going to be to do some contouring. So I'm using the Cafe D Shade and Light Palette. It's my favorite to contour. And I'm using my NARS Eater brush and just going to be chiseling out those cheekbones a little bit. I'm not going to spend too, too much time on the contouring because that's not really what the focus of this look is. But I can't do a look without contouring, so that's what I'm doing here. After I've contoured, I'm just going to do a little bit of bronzing with the MAC uh, Give Me Sun Mineral Skin Finish just to give it a little bit of warmth to the face as well. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and use this red eyeshadow to use as blush. <laughs> Obviously, I would never use uh, this bright of a shade for blush, and I went a little ham on it, but that's okay. If you ever go too much on your brush, just go back in with your foundation brush and just buff it out a little bit. Yay! On to the fun part. This is so much fun. This was creating the glitter eyebrows. Really, I'm just going to let you watch the process. I only did one eye on film, but I have on film. But basically, the process is going to be to put a little bit of lash adhesive on a whatever brush you have, but not a brush that you want to keep because it's probably going to ruin it. I just use little disposable lip brushes. And then you're going to just place a little bit because it dries quickly, and then just keep packing on the glitter until you get your desired uh, opaque in amount. So really, you just keep packing and packing and then moving on to the next step. You'll see that I continue to pack, and sometimes I even go back over the glitter and just add another layer. That's totally fine too. Just don't do too many thick layers over each other. So I'm going to go ahead and let you just watch me keep doing this process, and I hope you enjoy the step. Once you are done, you can take a spoolie, or in this case, I just took a disposable little eyelash mascara and, uh, tool, and you can go ahead and just kind of clean up the edges around just to get any glue or any sprinkles, any sparkles where you don't want them to be. It really just helps to clean up that eyebrow a little bit more. Of course, this is hard to do often because there's a lot of glue, but you can do it. I have faith in you, and look at these really cool eyebrows that we come up with. Then I went in and just popped on some really fun lashes. They had these from Halloween. I didn't show you the clip because it was a disaster. So here we are, just pop these on. How fun are they? Like, so fun, right? <laughs> Next, we're going to go back to the lower lash line. Just smoke it out, do some more fun things. I'm going in with a new eyeliner. I'm not a new eyeliner to me, but a fresh pot of Inglot Gel Liner, number 77, my favorite. I'm just going to be going in with a Morphe brush. Again, I'll list whatever Morphe brush that is down below in the description box. I'm going to be putting this black eyeliner in my waterline. I just love how this looks in any look, so that's why I did it here as well. And then I'm going to be going in with that red eyeshadow and just smoking out the entire lash line with just a pencil brush. Just creating that really smoked out pink, not pink, red look all in the lower lash line. I'll go ahead in and do some mascara on the lower lash line, and that is it for the eyes. <clears throat> Once you're done with the eyes, the only stuff that you really have left, well, there's another stuff after that, but the only main other stuff that you have is going to be the lips. What color should we do for lips? 
I think we should do a brown. So I love brown lipstick. I have this one that's amazing from Melt Cosmetics. It is in shade Cosmetics, and you'll see it here in just a moment. It is from their Melt Nude Collection, and I adore it. So I thought it'd be perfect for this chocolate-covered look, chocolate-covered strawberry look, because of course, that looks so awesome. So let me go ahead and put that shade on. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to kind of place it on the lips and use a brush as needed because this is a matte lipstick so it is pretty hard to apply. Last, but certainly not least, we're going to highlight. This is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb, and I'm just taking a fan brush from Morphe and just placing that beautiful highlight on the high points of my cheeks, and then I'll let it down my nose, and that is the final look, you guys. I hope that you like how this came out. I know it was kind of long, kind of choppy. I have a new iMovie going on, so it's all messy. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!